Philippians 4, 6 and 7, be anxious for nothing but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving. Let your request be made known to God. So he's saying, pray for these things in your life that you're struggling with. Don't just take them as, oh, this is a frustration. This is an aggravation. I guess that's not going to work out. Listen, begin to pray about that. God, this isn't from you. This is an assault from hell. This is an attack against my family. This is an attack on my finances. This is an attack and assault on my mind. And God, I'm going to resist that in prayer. I'm not going to hold back. I'm going to press forward. Listen to what he says in verse 7. And the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. He's saying that if you will have and develop a consistency in your prayer life, then God will place a peace on your heart that will give you the ability to be guarded from the things and shielded from the things of this life. You might have come to church and you're wrestling with some things. God, I'm confused. I don't understand this arena of life. God, I don't understand why things aren't working out the way I thought that they were going to. God, I, it just, just, just doesn't make sense to me. I don't see how this could change. Listen, when we pray and we begin to just contend and lay hold of God, God begins to open things and God will show us, God will give us understanding in the middle of us praying. But if we don't pray, God can't answer, God can't release. We can't see that supernatural power. But it, when we pray, we trigger the hand of God to be at work in our lives.